In addition to the coronavirus, which obviously is a primary concern, and of course we have our class action lawsuit against the communist Chinese in Dallas, Texas, go to freedomwatchusa.org to see if you qualify to be a plaintiff and to contribute with tax deductible contributions. We have our lawsuit in Jerusalem, Israel, which is moving forward, and also the criminal complaint, which I filed on behalf of Freedom Watch at the International Criminal Court in The Hague, Holland, is the controversy which is brewing over the Obama administration, the unmasking of not just General Flynn, but other names that are classified information dealing with alleged surveillance over these individuals. In fact, it's not alleged, it took place. And I had been predicted from day one that even the President of the United States had been wiretapped by the deep state Obama intelligence agencies. Now, what's come up is the president's call to have former President Barack Hussein Obama testify in front of Congress over what he knew and when he knew it. We know from tapes that have been released and transcripts that he actually conspired with intelligence czars Brennan and Clapper and others, Susan Rice, the ambassador of the United Nations, to violate the constitutional rights of General Flynn and others in and around the Trump administration, including the president himself. Now, he put this issue squarely in the court of Senator Lindsey Graham. Lindsey Graham, who shoots his mouth off, who sounds like he knows what he's talking about, the head of the Judiciary Committee. And he now says he's not going to call Obama in front of the committee. Well, you know what? It really doesn't matter whether he calls him in front of the committee or not, because that committee is a bunch of clowns. They never do anything. They're like every other committee on Capitol Hill, which is totally worthless when it comes to fighting government corruption and bringing about justice. But he says in the process, well, we can't bring a former president in front of the committee to testify. Well, you know what? That's complete hogwash. And that's the nicest way I could put it. I would actually make it a little bit stronger and say BS by actually saying the name, but I won't do that. Senator Lindsey Graham is compromised. Senator Lindsey Graham is all show and no action. Senator Lindsey Graham is an absolute disgrace. And the fact is, is that he's got skeletons in his closet and everybody in Washington, D.C. knows what they are. And he's not coming out of his closet. And I mean that literally because he's afraid of pushback by these intel agencies that they'll smear him. He's of the generation where he's concerned about being in the closet, and he actually goes in reverse whenever he has to do anything. And this is typical of the Washington, D.C. swamp. You smear me, and I'll smear you, mutual assured destruction, so nobody smears anybody when it comes to bringing about justice. And that's why you need a Freedom Watch. It's why you need a Larry Clayman. I've never worried about blowback. I've never worried about being smeared. I don't worry about people retaliating against me or entities retaliating against me. Our founding fathers didn't do that. They went ahead and did what they had to do. They pledged their, their fortunes, their sacred honor, and risked their lives to form a new nation. We have these sniveling, I don't know what you would call them, people like Lindsey Graham. No one cares anymore whether you're in the closet or not. And He's scared to do his job as head of the Judiciary Committee. He's been promising this, you know, on Hannity and on Fox News now for years since he took over. And this is typical. See, Fox News likes that because they want to be able to promote that something's going to happen to get people to watch every night. So it's complete fraud, which is perpetrated on the American people and nothing is ever done. And that's why you need to support Freedom Watch, because... When this coronavirus subsides and we're able to get groups of people together, we will be indicting Obama. We will be indicting McCabe. We will be indicting Comey. We will be indicting the Lovebirds and others, the intelligence stars, Clapper and Brennan. Clapper lied again. He said he didn't know about the unmasking under oath. He previously lied that he didn't know about mass surveillance of the American people. He's not held accountable, but we will hold all of them accountable. And we've already held Robert Mueller accountable. He's already been indicted and he'll be tried once this coronavirus subsides. But for the time being, let's focus on that coronavirus because we need to hold the communist Chinese accountable. We need to make them pay. There's no reason why the U.S. taxpayer needs to pay. There's no reason why you have to lose your job, why your businesses have to be destroyed, and the communist Chinese go off merrily on their way. The president is not being strong enough. 
He has appointed 200 and some judges. Frankly, they're worthless, most of them. They're establishment judges. He doesn't even know who he rubber stamped and appointed. They were put in front of him by people like Mitch McConnell, established Republican hack, and his, his White House advisor, Don McGahn, the White House counselor, and the Federalist Society, a lukewarm conservative group that feathers the nests of the Washington establishment. It's not going to happen. Therefore, we have to rise up ourselves peacefully and legally and hold these people accountable. We need to hold the communist Chinese accountable as well. So go to freedomwatchusa.org. Sign up for our class action lawsuit against the communist Chinese and see if you qualify and contribute with tax deductible contributions and support our citizens grand juries because we will hold these corrupt elite accountable. It won't be the cowardly types of Lindsey Graham that ever do it. Turn the television set off. Turn the television set off. Do not dignify these people. Watch something that's more important. Watch the golf channel, the tennis channel. That's more real than the crap that comes out of Fox News and comes out of Congress. So I'm telling you straight up, telling you straight up, get off the couch. Do what needs to be done. Support Freedom Watch and Larry Klayman. Support actually taking action not just watching television, and save your family and save yourselves. God bless you. You're the American patriots. You are the superheroes. Join our Justice League at freedomwatchusa.org and share this podcast, which you can find at freedomwatchusa.org, on Spotify, on iTunes, on Roku, on Amazon Fire, on Facebook, on Twitter, on RadioAmerica.com. Get the word out. This is the clarion call. We are in a second American revolution. If you haven't figured that one out, frankly, you must be on drugs. So consequently, do your job. Be the patriots I know you are. Be the good people that I know you are. Be the doers, not the listeners and watchers. And join Freedom Watch in its quest to bring about justice. God bless you. God bless your family. God save your family. God save the United States during these dire times. And let us all pray to God that with his help and his divine guidance, we will bring this country back to the vision of our founding fathers. Until tomorrow, actually Monday, when I come up with another special podcast, as well as my weekend radio show, I'm going to have Jerry Corsi on this week talking about why he didn't plead guilty and why he's not in the hot water that General Flynn now is, unfortunately, for General Flynn. Please listen to that as well. Until then, thank you for listening to me. The overwhelming anxiety and stress caused by debt is real, but you don't have to go through it alone. Freedom Debt Solutions is here to help. With more than 400 debt experts standing by, Freedom Debt Solutions could help you get rid of expensive debt with one low affordable monthly program payment. If you have $10,000 or more in credit card or personal loan debt, find out how you can talk to a Freedom Debt Solutions expert today. Go to freedomdebtsolutions.com slash help. That's freedomdebtsolutions.com slash help. Help.